In this tutorial we will have a look at different type of patterns. So the first example is a single hatch pattern. I have a double hatch pattern or a cross pattern. I have a pattern where I use a cell library and then the last two examples is some solid patterns. But to get started with the single hatch pattern I need to select this area right here called hatch area. And in this case I will just keep the spacing of 0 0.05 but you may want to test the spacing in, in order for the heads to fit to your drawing. We can see we have the angle given in goons and in this case I have added vertical lines so in this case the angle would be 100 goons so I just need to type in 100 and then I can select the float click once and then click inside of the close region click once and then click once again to accept for the double hatch I need to select the next icon right here and again I will just keep the spacing and we can see in in this example we have some vertical and we have some horizontal lines so the angle would be 100 for the vertical lines and then 0 goons for the horizontal lines. Click on the float icon right here and click inside of the closed region and click once more to accept. The next type of pattern is a pattern where I use a cell library and in this case I need to select the pattern area And we can see that in this case we want to create it or we can select from cell. And we need to attach a cell library so we want to click on this icon right here. And in your case you probably don't have a cell library attached so I'll just detach so it will look like this. But to attach the library you need to go to file and select attach file. And the cell library that we need is the one called SX and then pattern. And it's located, if I do just go up a few steps, it's located in the STD folder under cells. And then you find the pattern library. So just select it and click on open. And in this case we have some different pattern that, that we can choose from. And in this case I will just select the stone which is um, or the gravel layer so just double click on it and also make sure to click on the pattern and then you can close this window and we can see the pattern is now attached to the cursor but in this case we just want to mark on the pattern area again and then we can select the float and click inside of the close region and click once more to accept and now we have the hatch pattern where we use the pattern from the cell and for the solid pattern we want to select place a block and just have the settings as what you can see here and in this case if you want to change the color you just need to select the color that you want and then in this case I will snap to the upper corner and then the bottom corner and I have a solid pattern another way if you just want to place a solid pattern inside of a closed region in this case you can if you hold down the cursor on the sixth icon right here and select create region In this case if you mark keep original it will keep original once you place the pattern. Again just select the float and click inside of the areas where you want to have the fill patterns.
So this is just a small example of how you can add some different patterns to your drawings.